Hi guys, we are Hold back. On. We are here again. Yes, we are. And today, right now, we are going to do a word of the day. That's what we're going to do. So, we have our little handy dandy baggie. Yes. <laughs> a baggie! <laughs> yeah. Alright, so we are going to shake. Shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake your shake, baggie. Shake, shake your baggie. And we're going to pick a word out of the bag. So I have a piece of paper. Let's see what it is. Piece of paper says fantasy. Ooh. Ooh. Fantasy. Ooh. Fantasy. Well, this, this could be a very interesting topic. <laughs> fantasy could lead to a lot of things. Huh. Um, fantasy could lead to a fantasy. <laughs> um, let's see. Fantasy. Um, let's see. Like, you could say a fantasy about a guy that you want to be with, or that you could say, like, oh, my fantasy would be to be with Chris Brown, which it really is. But oh my god, Chris Brown. Trey Songs. Jason Derulo. Usher, Justin Timberlake. Yes. Chatting yeah. Tatum. Yes. Um, um, Gerard um, Butler. Yes. Um, um, what's his face? The guy from Jarhead. Oh, that's Jake Gyllenhaal. Yes, he's another hot one. Sorry for this issue right here, because I have my time of the month, and I broke out, like, really bad, so I don't have, like, a weird, like, mole or anything. <laughs> it's just there. Money, 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 money. <laughs> um, um, yeah, but fantasy could be anything. Fantasy could be something you just want to happen in your life. It could be, you know, anything. Anything that's something that you want to happen. Yes. So... So, um, let's see, fantasies. I don't know, I guess the fantasy of mine would have to be just, you know, just meeting the man, the guy that I've been waiting for. Like, it would be actually nice to actually happen, because it hasn't happened yet, so, you know, that would be nice, actually. Yes, me too, honestly. To meet, a, like, to actually not, just to know that you're, that you're, that you're with somebody who, who just, like, loves you for you, and... It's not like all this stuff about like, oh, you know, whatever, he was with me for, oh, I think all he wanted was sex or this, that. I'm like, I never liked that anyway, and I'm so tired of all the games, so it's kind of like, that would be a true-to-life fantasy, to meet a guy that is just going to love you and be with you for you and, you know. Yeah, that they're not going to, like, juice you for, like, pointless stuff, but... Yeah. Another fantasy would be... Oh my god. If I ever walked in, like, say I was in somewhere and somebody was like, oh, come in here for a minute, right? And I walked into a room and there was like 20 black guys in there. Either you better you better pull me out or the, the guys better be like gay or something because there'd be problems. <laughs> oh, it's true. I mean, <laughs> it's like like I said, many, many things could, like I said, da fantasies can be very, very, very dangerous because... Oh, yes. <laughs> Especially my type of fantasies. Yeah. I don't want to get too, too graphic on here. Like, I know, you know, things can get graphic. My mind is very, uh, I have a very wide imagination, just to let you guys know, so... But it's just like, yeah. Um, a fantasy right now that I'm feeling, I really would like a huge thing of... All I would want, honestly is like waffles right now. That's what I'm cra I'm craving waffles with like creamy butter and syrup and some and some um, sausage links. <laughs> Bacon. Yeah, so that's what I'm craving right now. I've been craving it for like a while. Like we we watch stuff on YouTube, you know, like taste test or like BuzzFeed we watch. And every time we watch something like if there's a thing like that, I'm like, "Oh, waffles." <laughs> like, "Oh my god." Um, so tell us some of your fantasies. Let us know in the comments what you fantasize about. Like, mm. you know, then again, let's not get too graphic. Yeah, but j don't tell us about your baseball fantasy. Like, I hate all that. Like, the oh, fantasy, oh, yeah. The fantasy baseball and whatever else they have out there. I don't know. Do they have every sport? But I know, I know they have that fantasy baseball. If you're if you're into that, honestly, don't comment because I really don't care. <laughs> I don't like all that. Like. I don't know. I don't even know what people get out of that, but, you know. Um, fantasy. There's a perfume by Britney Spears called Fantasy. It smells really good. It's very good. Very sweet. Um, 
I'm trying to think. Fantasy. I know all you people are probably going to either hate or say some stuff in the comments below, like, why of all people, this person, but I've always had this thing in my head, like, I know a lot of people don't think Little Wayne is handsome. I know a lot of people think, like, oh, he's too tiny, too skinny, his teeth, like, with the gold caps. I'm just saying in general his face, like, never mind everything else about him that people nitpick about. I think he has a handsome face, and um, he's so tiny, you know? And I'm like, I'm 5'7", and I'm a big girl, as you know, and he's like, has to be way shorter than me. And he's like a skinny nothing. And I always had this fantasy of like meeting him, and just being able to like take control of him. Like pick him up and like throw him on the bed, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Wow. You know? <laughs> oh, goodness. Um. There was this guy one time, we were coming home from, I think work, I think it was in the summer. There was this guy walking, because again, we live... What was that? We live near um like a like a major like it's like a highway but there's stores and everything and there was this guy walking and he looked like I mean I didn't see his face but from the back he had the same type of body shape so we're coming out of our friend's car and I was like hey like that and my sister's like what are you screaming at who yeah I was like oh that guy right there she's like why would you yell at him like that I'm like because I want to see if you turn around I'm like she would yeah. she would say something to somebody. <laughs> Okay, I'm like, Trace, oh my god, I like, can't just do that. But. I've done it before. One time, a few years ago, we were coming out of 7-Eleven with a friend, and this guy was, was he coming out with us? Was yeah, I think going? he was coming out. He held open the door, but he, oh, he oh, held open the door for us. Okay. And, and he was leaving. And then I think their car was parked next to our friend's car, and um, he was standing there, and I was, he, he was, and he was, oh my god, he was beautiful. And I was just like, I looked at him and I was like, oh my God. And I was like, I have to say something. And you're like, and she's like, what are you going to say? I'm like, you'll see. So I see him coming over to his car and I'm like, oh my God, I just have to let you know, you have like the most handsome face. I go, you're so like sexy, you know? And he was like, oh, thank you. And then our friend was like, oh my God, Teresa, did you just say that? I'm like, yeah, like he really is. He was, he was actually really good looking. I've done that a few times. I've done that to compliment from myself and I've also done it for other people like there was one time we were in a car coming home from work with a friend and and we stopped on the way to get gas no 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 we stopped at 7-eleven that's what it was stopped at 7-eleven and I think it was I'm trying to think how it was did I just stay in the car did she and I stay in the car and she got out I think yeah, I think I was. got out I think I had we had to get some stuff so I said, oh, I'll just get it. I'll, I'll go get it. And, and, and this guy was walking around. I'll be honest, he was handsome. He was. He, and he was walking around and he kept looking back at her, at her in the car. Like, he was looking at her. So she's like, oh my God, you know. She was like joking around and she's like, if I was younger, you know, I would talk to him. And I was like, oh, age is just a number. Who cares? Whatever. So he was like coming close, like not to the car, but just close by. So he was like looking, as he was walking, he was like looking in the car so I was just like, I was like, really? And I was like, I was like, if he ha if he's going to look, he has, he's going to have to say something about it, right? So he was walking towards and I go, hey, you, come here like that. And she's like, oh my God, T, what are you doing? And I'm like, well, you think he's handsome, right? I was like, he's obviously looking. So, and then he came over to the car and he, I mean, he wasn't, he was still handsome, but you could just tell he wasn't. Like he really wasn't worth it. Yeah, so. he was kind of, you could, he looked like he was like doing the wrong thing, you know? So. You know, that's how you could tell. I made a mistake. Eh. Can you do sometimes not everything you think from far? They could look like really like oh he's cute, but then when you see him up close, no, he was cute. Still yeah, like, but, you, but you could but see he was that like, something was wrong. He was like looking around, and he was like, and I'm like, oh no, I don't want to be messing with this. Yeah, and, and then and then even like as we were leaving, even even our friend said it. She was like, oh, you could tell something was wrong with him. I said, yeah, I know. Like he like was waiting for something. Yeah. Like, there you go. Oh, fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Um, mm. You know what I always had? This, I mean, it's kind of like a fantasy. I, I, you know, it's funny, like, when I was way younger, I always, like, you know when you dream about where you want to live and how you want your life to be, whatever? I always dreamt that, like, when I got older, like, I would love to get one of those nice, big, I think, I guess, are they called apartments in the city, Right. 
nice big apartments in the city and in the city they have like those really pretty ones like where they're nice and spacious and they have those huge windows that look right out to the city and I still I still to this day would like to do that honestly because I don't mind the city I mean it gets crowded I don't I, that's one thing I do not like is when it gets crowded and people are bumping into I don't like all that but I would like to get I still had a fantasy about that but Honestly, as I've gotten older, it's more the opposite now, what my fantasy is. Like, now it's not being in an apartment in the city. Now I'd rather have, like, a little, not even a big. I know a lot of people are all into, like, oh, I want a huge house with ten bathrooms. Like, no. Honestly, I would like to be more in, like, a country area where you could literally, like, grow your own fruits and vegetables. I know yeah, that, it sounds... Yeah, that actually would be kind of nice. It sounds so weird because if you asked me like 10 or 15 years no, ago... No, I mean, yeah, I, I feel the same way. Like, when I was younger, I wanted this mansion. Yeah. And I'm, now I'm just kind of like, I just want something simple. I would like to have a nice little house, like, maybe, and just be comfortable and, you know. I would like to have a little house, maybe, like, I'm trying to think, maybe two or three bedrooms, maybe three, like, for me and her our own room and have one for, like, company and a nice little a little house one floor doesn't have to be two floors and possibly with like um either like an apartment attached or in the basement so we can have our grandmother live because you know like she she's been helping everybody out for her whole life she raised four boys and she helped raise us and it's about time that somebody helps her you know of so it would be nice to have like, like a nice, like a really nice backyard. Yeah, like have like something like that. That cool. and like like have a nice yard where you could fit like I always liked an underground pool, but I think I would rather have more land to have space to have barbecues. Yeah, like like a nice yeah, that's true. Have like a get like a nice barbecue thing. Like, yeah, get like maybe good like lawn furniture, and then, then like, another have a good spot, and then another space like off to the side to have like my own little garden honestly I really do I know like years ago I never would have cared like years ago if like if my grandmother was to say it or where we used to live the guy used to do gardening back then too I'd be like okay great but I have to say like it is rewarding knowing that you're the one helping that grow and then you get to eat it yeah, it's or, true. Sh or share it with people, you know, like yeah, because like the way we used to live, he used to grow like tomatoes, uh, and... lettuce, like lettuce, tomatoes, oh, uh, uh, cucumbers. He used to grow. Plant. He used to grow butter lettuce. Oh. Talk about literally the name fits it because butter lettuce is literally it's lettuce, but when you cut it and even chew it, it literally it, it melts. Literally just melted. Like, oh it my was god! So we never had anything like that until we, until we lived there, and he grew um figs. Um, what else? Tomatoes. Um, yeah. Um, there was something um, else. Something else I know. Oh, zucchini. He grew, he grew a lot of things. I think at one time he was thinking, I think he was thinking of growing peppers, but didn't want to because he had to like redo something. But yeah. he grew a lot of stuff and he, like I said, it was rewarding because we would eat it for dinner because we all ate together and then he'd also share it with people. Like he always gave stuff away like any time my grandmother came she always she, gave her like vegetables like make she salads always, she always left with like a bag full of veggies and stuff but see i would like to grow fruit also yeah i would like sure. fruit and veggies and you know like stuff that i know that we love like you know like just i would honestly love that it would like and i know we're rambling on about but it is a part of a fantasy it is so. a fantasy like so it's it's length from the <laughs> word uh and you know what else i want i want a venus fly trap I do. I know everybody's going to hear that and be like, what in God's name? But I really do, like, to me, I think they're actually pretty cute because they're just like a regular plant where people will probably walk past it 45 times a day, like, whatever. But then you put, like, even a fly, that's the whole point of it. A fly could go by it. You put a piece of food, and there's this guy on YouTube, actually, and he has one. I call, his name is Charlie. He, like, named it. He has, like... But it's so funny because he has it like funny things like, oh, Charlie the Venus flytrap eats um eats it's ice cream. Or yeah, or, or, or like or it's a pepper. Yeah, and he and just he puts the pepper and it shuts, and you see like you it's weird like it actually like moves. Yeah, like and you feel it. It looks like it's like sucking it. But I have to say they're pretty cool because people would walk by it like, oh great, probably not even caring. And then if you stopped and showed them like they'd be like, oh my god, like. But I I like them. 
I really do. Extra pretty cool. I honestly would like, I know everybody's going to hear this and think, you're cuckoo. I am cuckoo again. <laughs> you ever see the movie Little Shop of Horrors? If any of you seen it, you know the, the Venus flytrap that goes, feed me, feed me, and it talks. And it literally is like humongous. Like, I would love if anybody, anybody out there, if you know where to get one, I would get one for the apartment. Wow. It's like, but not like a real one, meaning like, like the statue of that one. And have it like up, because that one was huge, you know? <laughs> but I would love to get that, because I think it's just the cutest thing. Um, yeah. Fantasy, 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 fantasy. Yeah. Fantasy. And another thing is, I know this is not like pure fantasy, but if I had any food, I know people are going to say, oh, oh, sorry, you're on break. Um, but if you, if you eat a food so many times, like, you know how people like really like a diehard pizza fans, like I can have pizza morning, noon, night, seven days a week, but it's the truth. Once you eat it, but I'm dead serious. If I had to live the rest of my life eating one type of food, like not just one food, one type of food. I could live on Spanish food. Oh, that's still, that is so good. Oh my God. Their rice, their chicken, the empanadas, like everything, just that culture. If you said to me, you had to pick one culture for the rest of your life to eat, it would be Spanish food. It's true. Even the way, even the way Hispanic people make salad, delicious. And I know, what is a salad? How is it so different? It's different because then they have these little Goya packets that we found too. Oh yeah, it's like an all-purpose seasoning. And now and you, her friend we literally gave it just to sprinkled us. it on the stuff, and we didn't even uh. need no dressing. We just like literally had that a little bit of water, and we just shook it. It was, it was so, so good. All you need actually would be taste better as olive oil. But her friend, we had a little get together. I think it was like a year or two ago, and her friend was like, "Oh, you know." You should use this stuff called blah, 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 whatever. And she was telling us about it. And at first, the first time, we didn't know about it. The second time, we were in the store, we found it. And it literally is like, if you're having a salad, all you need is a little bit of olive oil and this, like, powdery stuff. People will honestly think that there's no season. They'll look at you like, oh, you're eating that plain. But, oh, it's so good. It and is. I'm, I'm telling it, it, you. It makes such a difference in the salad. Uh, it's so, it's, I don't know what they put in it. It's so good. And their food, like I'm saying, like empanadas and the pupusas and, and oh my God, like there's so many things. There's so many ways that they make the Spanish steak. I mean, I can make Spanish steak, but I'm saying the steak and the, oh, I, de uh, true. I love Spanish food. We make a good Spanish rice. We oh, do. we do. And a steak. Yeah, the steaks are really good. That and steak and the onions. Oh, my God. We, so can make, we make good Spanish food. Again, we're not nowhere near Spanish. We're Polish, German, Italian, and Hungarian. So we're nowhere near Spanish, even though a lot of people always ask us for some reason. Yeah, because like, they always say, like, our last name, which I'm not going to say it, but they say our last name kind of brings off to be it Spanish. It does. It does sound it, but I'm just saying, we aren't Spanish at all, and we can make... Sorry. We can make... That, this goes because... I stayed up late because we don't have no work, and then we got this disturbing phone call oh, God. in the middle of the night from a disturbing person, That so then I was up from that, and then also at like 8 o'clock this morning, the landlords must have hired these landscapers to come and like clean up the whole house, like bushes and all, and they were like here with ladders and, yeah, and you know. Yeah, and then like branches were hitting our air conditioner and that's and why. We woke up early. We were, we, we were, we were, I went to back to sleep for like an hour. Not I thought me, I was I up couldn't. again. Once I'm up, I'm up. So if you see me yawning a lot in this video or the next one, that's why. Because the lovely landscapers broke my beauty sleep. Yep. How dare they? So you know what? We'll ramble on some more, but it's already 19 minutes long. Don't want you to be sleeping by the time this is over. Yes. So let us know some of your fantasies in the comments below. Uh, definitely like this video. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, what else can I say? Um, we have a giveaway once we hit 100, 100 subscribers. So check out that video yes. for the rules and everything. They'll be listed in the description below. Now, don't be negative. Any type of negative comments will be ignored and deleted. Don't even waste your time because we are not going to answer back, honestly. So once we see any type of negativity, it's done. It's gone, and you're gone too. Yeah. So don't even bother, honestly. So, like I said, you know, we'll be back again with another video. Yep. We and love we you guys. Stay safe. Be happy. Keep a smile on your face. And... 
take one day at a time. Love, Love you guys. You. Mwah.